in a nutshell, Zorix is a company that was specifically formed to apply for a stock exchange license. We submitted our application to the Financial Services Board in March last year and were awarded a conditional license March this year, so almost to the day a year later. What's transpired since then is that a lot of people have said, well, you're competition for the JSE, and now you're going to be trading JSE <coughs> shares. It's not the case. Um, Zorex is a company that will create an alternative platform for people to list their shares on. So we will not be trading shares listed on the JSE. Um, imagine the arbitrage opportunity that's available to you if you were to short sell your NAS passes on the JSE, T3 settlement, and real time get your cash in real time on Zorex. All sorts of problems arising, so we won't be going there. Um, so in a nutshell, we are literally going back to bare bones and basics. Uh, we always like to see ourselves as an incubator for uh, companies wanting to merely create liquidity for their shareholders to transact in their shares. Everybody knows competition is good, but why is it good? And I'm sure most of you say the first response is, well, it makes it cheaper for everybody. Now, I've always maintained that if price is your only competitive advantage, well, then get out of town. You don't have a competitive advantage. So in a Zorix environment, we would look at a new issuer. A new issuer would be a company wanting to list, and they would need to comply with our listing requirements. The exchange would sit and uh, consider it. We've got a listings committee. They would look at the merits of the listing and go through the whole process, whether or not to approve it. And there'll be an iterative process. And to the extent that they are then successful, they would be listed on the exchange. Issuer surveillance basically alludes to a concept where, as the exchange, and, and this is a this is unique to a South African capital markets environment. We are what's called a, uh, a self-regulating organization. So in, in the Zorix environment, uh, once we have our final license, we would regulate all the listings on our exchange. So similar to the JSE, you would basically phone the guy up and say, listen, your financials are late. You were supposed to report to, the, to us on such and such a date, and uh, you are now falling foul of your listing requirements. Uh, and there's obviously a censure process that goes with that. Now, why do we do that? It's not because we're unpleasant people. It's just it drives investor protection. And this is, this is key to the Financial Markets Act and what it's trying to achieve. So this is not to, to be the big bad wolf. It's actually to look after the man in the street that's put trust into the system. Once again, now this speaks to my earlier chart of systemic risk. Talking to the broking environment, in our environment we talk about a market participant, uh, basically see that as a stockbroker, and the stockbroker would do all the usual mandating stuff, the FICA and the, and the KYC and what have you. And effectively, uh, they would then interact with their clients. So pretty, pretty similar to, to what the current environment is on the JSE, nothing's changed there. To the extent that you then want to trade Zorex shares, you merely tell your broker you want to do such, and he will execute the trade on, in a Zorex environment, provided that market participant is licensed to trade on Zorex. So similar to the issuers, they would also need to go through a vetting and licensing process. Um, the clients would basically put their mandate, well, the market participant would put their mandates through computer share, which is our CSDP. It's another requirement of the Act, and it gives segregation and separation of assets. And ultimately, the shares for all shareholders, similar to a JSE environment, are held at Strait, which is the country's largest CSDP. And they have really been amazing in terms of putting some proper infrastructure for us in place to be able to, uh, 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 to be able to settle in real time. 
Um, now, I alluded earlier to the T0, and all money sits in a Zara X nominee account. So effectively, it's a separate legal entity. It's bankruptcy remote. And as such, what it does is if you want to transact in Zarex shares, you need to put your money in that nominee company first. It then gets allocated to your portfolio, and once it's cleared, and I need to emphasize the fact once it's cleared, you will be able to trade. So this is not a high-frequency trading model. We're not, we're not a casino. This is for the investor. We specifically doing the slow 4x4 off-road model here. Um, all trades will go through the exchange's Avento matching engine. And in a nutshell, that's the Zorex environment. <laughs>